everyone, this is Zephyr here. Welcome back to Monster Hunter World on PC. Wow, it looks like the game is really quiet, so I can't, I can't tell if it's really recording music. Uh, hopefully it is. Um, it's really hard to tell. In any case, uh, we have a new um, arc-tempered monster to fight today. So, let's uh, turn off our layered armor because the Appreciation Fest is over. And we're also going to have to change our arm up, our arm up, our armor up for uh, this Arc Tempered because um, it's quite a bit tougher than the others. So we'll have to be dealing with that. Let's see, so let's turn off, we don't need dumb pods. Flash pods aren't going to be super useful, but we're going to keep them because they could still come in handy. Do I seriously have no great wet fish fins? I guess not. Huh, that's annoying. Thought I had gotten some, I guess not. Um, but this is probably all we need, so it should be fine. However, now we need to change our equipment here. So that's three level one slots. Let's stay on. It's a level three slot and evade. Okay, so you're good. Ice attack, two level one slots. What do you give though? Critical eye and power prolonger. Critical boost. Level 3 slot and evade extender. I think that'll be the best one. And then we'll keep the Drachen, Drachen here. That'll be swapped out. I guess I'll show you. If you're wondering what we're going to be fighting, you've probably already guessed, already guessed it. Man, I can't talk. I uh, have an issue here. All right. We have the Eye of the Storm quest now, which is the arc-tempered Kushala Daora. So Kushala's existence reminds us of how great and fearful nature is, but it also reminds us of, uh, of those who stood up against the beast, stand tall hunter, and return the skies to blue. So, let's see what we're at. So the reason we're using Kushala equipment is because we need the Kushala Daora flight skill, which is negate all wind pressure. This quest is not going to work without it. Um, this is useless to us right now. Um, we may or may not need the handicraft. <sighs> That's going to depend. Fade window's nice. The extender's fine. Critical boost. Alright. Um, so the question is, do we want to go with the... Empress Sword Sticks, which without Handicraft we would have some white sharpness. Uh, we have positive affinity there, and blast element, and then extra uh, gem slots. Or do we want to use the Reaver Calamity, which is high raw. Uh, we have augmented and can do Elder Seal but we'd still need the handicraft. So 176 or 594. Wow, it's almost a 200 raw difference with long sword. I think that's seven plier. 
That's still almost like 30 raw difference. Um, but it does have affinity, positive affinity. We're gonna go with this. Because why not? We'll give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. Because we can change out our charm. Um, and I'm betting I already have Blast Jewels on this to increase its potency. Yeah. It'll give us level 2 Blast already, which is nice. Let's just see what our Blast is without the level 2. So it's 260. Now it is 270, which doesn't seem like much of an increase. Oh, it's a five, it's supposed to be 5%. So it's a 10% plus 10. Uh, let's see, 240s, so that'd be 24, 264, 274. I can't tell if it's capped or not, and I don't have more blast decorations to, to test. I have no extra blast, so I'm going to assume, I mean it's still increased, so I guess that's fine. Check again though, how much did it increase by? Ten. useful that is. We'll just try it for now. Should be fine. Alright. So then change equipment. We are going to swap this out with the attack charm. Attack charm 3. Just attack boost 3 out of the gate. That's pretty easy pop on an attack jewel here and we now have attack boost 4 which gives us the affinity boost as well as the attack the raw which is nice We're at 21% which isn't amazing but I mean you know it's still nice pop on a critical jewel what is that critical boost 2 um, okay. Might be prudent to add some tenderizer in. So now we're at attack boost 4, weakness exploit 3, blast attack 2. I wish I had another decoration just to see if it would go up higher, but whatever. Critical eye 2, critical boost 2, handicraft 2, evade window 2. Alright, so... I could pop us up to critical boost level 3, which would max that out. Or I could pop an evasion on. I don't think the evasion is going to be as useful, honestly. But what might be useful is. Protective polish could be nice as well. So we don't have to worry about. Sharpening. It's got a decent amount of white. We're going to go with the critical. This should be pretty good overall. So now we've got attack boost 4, so some good raw boost plus the 5% affinity. Critical boost 3 makes our criticals worthwhile. Weakness X.3, if we're gonna hit it in the face, we're gonna probably get a critical, which is good. Blast attack, 
hopefully make those explosions happen as frequently as possible. Critical Eye, just some extra affinity, nothing special. And then Handicraft to give us a little more sharpness. Uh, evade Window 2, not really super useful, but it's the more useful of the skills on the old Kushala armor. Evade Extender, again, better than Ice Attack, which doesn't really do anything for us. Uh, Power Prolonger is just there, so whatever. Um, yeah, so this seems pretty good, and then Razor Sharp will help minimize how often we have to sharpen. This should be pretty good. Um, certainly not perfect, but uh, could certainly do worse. Make sure I'm happy with... I think Vitality and Temporal Mantles should be good. I don't think there's a reason to put anything else on... Increase the invulnerability window while evading and grants a temporary attack boost for evading a monster attack at the very last moment. You know what, let's try that over the Vitality Mantle. The Vitality Mantle is going to get clobbered by its arc, its attack powers that aren't tempered, so it might be better to just go evasion. Uh, so that, one, we have a better chance of evading, and if we do evade, we get an attack boost. Um, okay, we should be good now. Let's go eat, and then we'll uh, jump into this. Where else can you find deals like these? All right. So the reason this one's so dangerous and difficult is because it's the normal mechanics that make Kushaladora, Kushaladora manageable, uh, don't work on this one. Namely, uh, you can't flash bomb him out of the sky. Flash bombs are for ensuring that uh, he doesn't run back to his own camp, but they will not. They will not knock him out of the sky when he's arc tempered, which is means he's going to be in the sky a lot. So he's uh, it's a kind of a battle of attrition in a way. We're on the hunt. All right. This is going to be brutal solo, it really is, but we should be able to do it without too much trouble, as long as we're careful. Ooh, no, 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 I gotta remember, I gotta augment and upgrade the pieces of armor that I don't normally wear from Kushala's set. Oh god, that could have been a nightmare. Alright, augment. Those are obviously augmented. Ah, the feet. The feet are the only ones I haven't augmented. Okay. I'm on my game. I haven't been played Monster Hunter in quite a few days because I've been playing Kingdom Hearts and stuff. So hopefully I'm on the top of my game here. So otherwise this will go rough. Arc Tempered Kushala Daura. It's been a while since I fought this. See if he sits down for us to start with a bombing. Uh, is there something I can pick up around here to shoot at him? I don't think there is. Holy crap. There's no stones or anything. Oh, come on. Really? Son of a. 
Yeah, I guess there's no bombs or anything. Okay, we'll do this the uh, this way. Be rough is I forgot I didn't put vitality on my armor set and I mean these things can hit hard so we'll see how it goes this is the other problem is his stupid tornadoes that he's gonna put up I can't stop that like stop him or her and uh, so this is gonna be rough okay back on the ground so come at me nope make another tornado because you're a dick great biggest thing to remember is uh, I can't switch decorations in quest. I can change armor, but I cannot change my, uh, my decorations, so I won't be able to add vitality even if I wanted to. So, gotta be careful. Tornado, I like I'm glad you're back on the ground, but at least don't be in the tornado. Shoot. Look how much damage that did. It's no joke. And here I am screwing that stuff up. Oh god. Even just a Cap hurts. <laughs> They're so bad. And they have so much health. This could be a, a rough battle. I also suggest not using the trap Pelico here because if you do f accidentally flash him with the Pelico traps, that means you miss out on being able to flash him with uh, your normal flash pots, which means uh, when he tries to run to his camp, you might not be able to stop him. Not ideal, not ideal, not ideal. I know having earplugs would have been nice for this. Oh, please stop that. Uh, bows and bow guns are really good for this fight because you can even attack him when he's in the air. Um, so definitely know that this is not an ideal weapon. Oh crap. careful with that because if he hits the ground and it doesn't go as far as it's supposed to, it, it will one-shot you. Alright. Go use that Vigor Wasp over there and then we'll uh, follow him.
probably use our evasion mantle and start now that we have a little more open space. which is nice uh, but he's in the air now which is not nice and he's on the ground again that's great As you can see, Arc Tempered Teostra is now in the area, so if they end up together, they'll have a turf war, which could get us some extra damage as well. Shit. And I'm in a really. Oh, crap. Not ideal. Oh, I don't know how I dodged that. I think it's because of the evasion skill we've got. Let's heal up because, I mean, every hit is so brutal against this guy. Really? I thought he was being nice. It's not. Yeah, I tried to time a um, foresight slash and it didn't work out. Shoot, I did not aim that right either. Uh, Alright, we still got to get it in. I wish we had the Teroth Sword Fire, because I guess it works really well for him because of its high raw, and uh, you're able to like do a lot of good damage via uh, hitting him in the head with it and keeping your white sharpness up. Come on. Ah, oh, dang it. Didn't hit. Alright, it's fine. Now, notice how nice it is that I'm not getting pushed back by his winds because he puts it back up fast. Having Kushadora's set bonus, ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me, is uh, super helpful. <laughs> like, it's ridiculous how nice his own set bonus is for fighting him. He curved into me there. Come on. Whatever. It's fine. It's just annoying. Okay, he's changing areas. It's alright. Is he going... Okay, he's going up over there. I wasn't sure if he was going to go... Um, to the area with the crystals he can drop on him, or if he was going over that area, which if he's over there, there's a high probability that Teostro will be there, and we'll be able to get that turf war, which will be nice. Oh, crap. He did go underground. Oh, what a dick. Alright, fine. Don't get me wrong, this is nice if I can get the hit on the crystal, but 
Otherwise, he's just a dick. Shoot, I missed. Alright. Then he's just a dick now. Come on, come here. I need these hits. He didn't stay under it. Oh, maybe he did. I don't know, it's hard to tell. But he's down at the moment, so. That's such a bad position for me to be in. Oh. Okay, yes, go there. Oops. Come here, man. I need to get you here, too. Yes. It's gonna help a lot. Ow. That was probably a dangerous move for me there, but it's alright. It worked out. That's instant death. <laughs> I wouldn't have dodged that. Oof. Ah, oh, he's going in the air. Alright. Alright, alright, that's fine. Just gotta pay attention to what's going on. Slash, I screwed it up though. Because I am the worst. Oh, I love the arch tempered fights, they're so much fun. Like, they're tough, but they're fun. I know there's a lot of people who are like super pro at this game that for them this is not tough, but that's not me. For me, it's tough and it's fun, and I love it. Whoa, that could have been bad. That was my bad. I thought he'd turn at least. Okay, no. Alright, he's tired? Really? Alright. That was good timing for his stamina wear off because I would have been in a really bad position. We'll get in a turf war here, but I think the Teoster moved away. Oh, cool. Kushala Dower material. Nice. Uh, let's eat our ration as well, because we've used up quite a bit of time here.
Ah, sh I screwed that up. Ah, sh <laughs> I screwed that up bad. That's fine. Uh, I meant to dodge that. Oh, ooh, 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 that's my bad. Well, oh, here's our possible turf war. It's just, uh... Oh, I thought he was gonna freaking supernova. I was gonna be like, really? You're gonna supernova on me here? Alright, that'll help. Tails will leave. Oh, and Kushal is weak. No, 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 no. I can't leave, man. I can't have you gone and... Putting me in a tornado storm of doom. Ow. He's gonna be a pain in the butt to fight in his home because of all those tornadoes, so we gotta try and keep him here. Which may or may not be difficult, or may, or may or may not be possible, depending on how he decides to act. This thing in the air is gonna make it impossible. At least with temporal, I can maybe hit him a couple times while he's in the air. Slashing. No, shit. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Crap. My freaking. His aura blocked my, uh. Crystal burst. Alright, I'm gonna go grab another crystal burst because we don't have much choice here. We'll also have to grab bombs. Ah, oh, crap balls. Okay. This is gonna be rough, uh, especially since the temporal mantle will wear off. Um, oh, this is a nightmare. Might as well take that off. Uh, Eastern camp. All right. That was weird for the music to suddenly be like that. Alright. We'll resupply. We need bombs. <sighs> this could be rough. This entire quest could be a failure in this next area because of the stupidity of fighting him when he's in his home because of just it's hard to dodge his attacks when he's constantly summoning tornadoes so this may or may not be the oh, that's why I kept those crystal burst was to make it so that it would be a, a win but oh, this could just completely fall apart here Got no temporal mantle, no evasion mantle. And I, of course, didn't get far enough away from the bombs. Shoot. What a waste. Okay. That's not what I meant to do. I thought he was going to jump down, and we're dead. I can't even tell what's going on right now. Oh, crap. Let's try and get someone that's somewhere that's a little more manageable, which seems to be over here. Oof. I 
know where he was. Ah, oh, you're really gonna make it another tornado? Come on. It makes this really difficult. And that's exactly why I was afraid. Dodging his attacks is really hard in this area. See? I, I, I have nowhere to go. That's my problem. I'm just gonna have to play it kind of safe. Oh. And hope for a good opening, and we're, I think we're blocked in at the moment. Nope, we're not, okay. This is gonna be brutal. Tired? Please be tired. Nope, you're not, you're making another tornado because you're a dick. Of course. I wish I could use my temporal mantle. I wish it hadn't been wasted. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. The evasion mantle isn't going to help us much here. Because you have to dodge attacks just to make it take effect. I thought it was maybe coming out of the air. <gasps> Out. Oh, out of the air is fine too. Okay. No. Oh, come on. Shoot. But at least his tornadoes are down for the moment. Now they're not. That didn't last long. <laughs> I was so excited for a second there. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, you gotta be flipping kidding me. I was so excited. I'm like, oh, okay. Ah, come on. Oh, there we go. Yes, okay. Now if we can just get him on the ground. Now's our chance to counter. If I could just get my foresight slashes to not suck. Feels good. Arc tempered Kushala Daura. Zero feints. Solo. With longsword. Wasn't too bad. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, I actually really like that fight. And uh, I think I've mentioned many times before Kushala Daura is my second favorite Elder Dragon of all time. And we got a Daura gem off of this. This couldn't have been a better, a better hunt. Um, that's pretty awesome. So what do we get here? Two scale plus, two claw plus, a wing gem. And then a tailster claw plus. Two, four, five, six items. Not bad. I don't know why I thought Elder Dragons gave five carves, but they only give four, so that's fine. But yeah, no, that was a good hunt. Um, didn't use too many resources. Didn't, uh, didn't have any feints. We got a gem. Like, that was good. I mean, it, it takes some time, but I expected it to take longer than it did. 24 minutes? That's not, not too bad. Um, we probably could have done faster if I was a little more aggressive, but we might have also fainted if I was more aggressive. So I'm happy with that. That was a good hunt. Um, got a Kushala Daura ticket. So a ticket bearing Kushala Daura, commanding the winds, redeem at the smithy to make novel equipment. It actually makes one of my favorite gamma sets. Uh, so I'm excited for that. Um, warped Face Stone. Now, it's Arc Tempered, so we get tickets. We don't get much in the way of Stream Stones at all, uh, or even decorations, as you saw, which uh, is, you know, kind of a difference from Tempered to Arc Tempered. Arc Tempered give 
basically a normal hunts rewards plus a ticket whereas tempered usually gives lots of stream stones and decorations so it's just kind of funny that it's arc tempered it's a higher version of tempered but it doesn't give tempered type rewards it can i believe you can get hero stream stones from them but i don't think i've ever gotten one or at least i haven't gotten them often if i have i don't remember ever getting one what do we get here dragon seal jewel eh, boost dragon seal Pfft. it's not very useful honestly I hope in Iceborne they make Dragon or Elder Seal a more useful um, thing to have. So Hunter rank up, that's nice. All right, let's go check out our harvest. I don't know if we need to keep the things that we're harvesting going, or or if we should switch it up when they finish. We've read all this before, so let's see. Nope, we still need more because the Mandragora. That's fine. Keep that going for one more round, then we should be done with that. I also want to switch my Poogie back to being the awesome behemoth that he is. God, the outfits for the Poogie are so cute. I really want to get this outfit as a uh, as a plushie and I'm not really big into plushies but I just think it's so awesome I think you can but it's it's not monster hunter it's a Final Fantasy 14 plushie oh wait I need to pet you come back come back sir Porkins cool all right this video is actually a lot longer than I expected it to be because I've uh, I had to go through all the setup at the beginning. I don't know if it's been the most exciting video. Um, I almost fell asleep before starting recording uh, because I was waiting for my fiance to fall asleep before I came to record. And so it was a little sluggish getting in here and getting started and doing the quest. So I don't know if it's the most exciting, but I had a lot of fun with it. I really like Kushala Daura and I really like the art tempered uh, version as well. Uh, oh, five, one of me underlings brought blueprints for some equipment he wants to forge. Problem is that we need some special materials to get this done, so I put in a delivery request for them. Give us a hand, will ya? It ain't an urgent thing, so whenever you find yourself twiddling your thumbs, head to the resource center and get it done for us. Cross my heart. Oi, Fiverr, if you insist on wearing that clown suit, how about I make you some layered armor to cover it up? Just give me the materials and I'll get hammering. Guild cross layered armor, which is actually a pretty decent layered armor, though I need ace hunter coins, which I have none of right now, so that kind of blows, but I can earn those in the arena some point all right so let's take a look at kushala daura gamma like i said this is one of my favorite sets um it oh god it looks so cool i'm not a huge fan of the helmet but with the set it looks good but without the set the helmet looks kind of goofy but one of the reasons i like this set so much is now instead of oops if you look at this, uh, the armor is like a silverish color. It's like the actual color of Kushala, whereas the um, standard Kushala that I am having trouble finding now is like this rust color, which is the rust color. So Kushala normally comes in two variations, normal Kushala and then rusted Kushala. And rusted Kushala is usually an aged Kushala that's about to shed. and the normal Kushala Alpha and Beta armor looks like rusted Kushala colored armor, whereas the Gamma looks like a standard Kushala, which I think is kind of odd. I would have thought it was the other way around, but I'm glad that it's this way because rusted, rusted Kushala is cool, but the color on armor is kind of bleh. It's it's a bit bland looking. I really like the, the silver look. Uh, I think it's very, very nice and sleek, and it just, it, this is probably, in Monster Hunter World, this is probably my favorite looking armor. Uh, it's unfortunate that I don't wear it really ever, because um, Drachen's just so much better as a set, uh, and hopefully, hopefully we'll get all armors as a layered type when Iceborne releases. Hopefully we'll be able to make all armor into layered, because it would be nice to be able to just use this as layered armor. I'd use it all the time. 
So let's take a look at what each set piece does. Uh, the helmet and I think the waist are the best pieces. Uh, the helmet has a level 2 gem slot and it gets handicraft level 2. Um, the body is a level 2 gem slot with ice attack level 3 and evade extender, which, you know, is it's a, that's decent, but it's not, you know, amazing. Also, as all gamma sets are, this is the, it's the alpha set, uh, just with a different color. Um, that's how all of them are, like Teostra Gamma is also the Teostra Alpha. I'll go up and show you. It's just the Teostra Alpha set, um, but with a different color. As you can see, it's got like the gears instead of the shields. And same with Kushala, it's got kind of, like the covered mask instead of the open. It's got the, the pauldrons that are a little lower. Um, but uh, or I, I should say it's got pauldrons, but it, the, like the collar part is lower uh, than what the beta has. Um, but the beta has like the shoulders go down to cover part of the arm, whereas on the alpha, it's it's actually like a uh, a, a true pauldron. Um, but yeah, it's, so it's the alpha set with a different a different color scheme, which I'm fine with. When we get G rank and Iceborne or Master rank or whatever they decide to call it. Um, armors get a new they well at least in past games armors always get a new a new look uh there's always a g rank look that sets them apart from high rank and low rank um but yeah so it's just it's the look of the alpha armor but with a different color i do wish you could choose if it was alpha or beta looking because i do like the beta um design quite a bit but the more i look at gamma the more and more i realize that i actually probably do like the kushala alpha armor set look better than the beta even though the beta has better stats but gamma has even better stats than than beta but i'm starting to rant at this point so let's keep going so the the hands um give focus level two with three level one slots so that's pretty decent uh especially for bow and um i mean you could you could use it for um longsword as well and actually now that i think about it focus isn't useful in bow and world no. Uh, so focus used to be one of the best skills for bow because it let you charge faster but now that you can just dodge to increase your charge level by one uh, focus isn't quite as useful for bow it's better to just increase your stamina and use uh, skills that lower how much stamina you use so i guess that's not super useful for bow but um, it can still be useful for longsword because it increases how quickly you power up your spirit gauge uh, so it can make it so you can do spirit attacks with less normal attacks in between. Uh, the waist gives handicraft level 2 with two level 1 slots. Uh, so like I said, head and waist are probably the best pieces. You can get handicraft level 4 with just those two pieces and then you have two level 1s and a level 2 slot. It's not bad. And then the legs have a level 3 slot and evade window. Um, so it's kind of funny. The, uh, the body got the evade extender that feet used to have and the feet got the evade window that hands used to have on the beta set so so uh, overall it's not a bad set really the only two pieces that are super useful are the head and the waist um, the body can be useful when fighting lunastra because it gives you ice attack so if you're using ice weapons which lunastra is weak to um, the body can be useful i'm obviously going to get the entire set uh, my goal is to have eight tickets so that i can make the entire armor and uh make the layered armor and then still have a ticket left over so yeah so that's all that is um so this went a lot smoother than i expected to with uh how kind of like sleepy i am but um i'm pretty happy with it uh i'm gonna probably farm this for a bit more tonight and then um probably a bit more tomorrow that should finish up the armor set i don't know what i'm gonna do next in monster hunter i'm trying to decide if i want to start doing optional quests or if I want to wait until I have more time with Kul'v Taroth but Kul'v Taroth isn't going to be back for three or four more weeks so it could be a while and even we get another arc tempered monster before Kul'v Taroth comes back so as much as I want to show off that weapon that is best in slot for longsword currently that I don't have on any of my save files um, I also don't want to keep pushing off 
starting new games, and I still have to fin finish Kingdom Hearts as well, but I'm almost done with that, so... Um, so yeah, I don't know when my next video will be for Monster Hunter. Uh, it's it's just going to come down to how I'm feeling, honestly. Um, but, uh, you, you know, I'll finish up our Tempered Kushala, and then we'll see where things go. So thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. You can also subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell icon to get email updates when I upload new videos. And of course, you can leave any comments or suggestions in the area below the video. We have lots more Monster Hunter content to go on PC, so there will be plenty more videos uh, for this. I'm going to try and be better about getting videos edited and uploaded. Uh, I'd like to get caught up because the sooner I get caught up, the sooner I can start other series as well. So uh, I'm going to try and be better. But um, that is all I have for you today, so thank you so much for watching. And as usual, this is Zephyr, signing out.